What's up guys? Will H Tech Review back with another video. Today we're going to be using Samsung DeX on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. I'm going to be using it with an external monitor that I have up here. I'm going to show you guys the monitor. There's the monitor. So I'm going to show you guys how this works uh, with a uh, external monitor. Uh, show you guys how you can get work done with this. Uh, this is plugged in with a USB uh, hub here, Type-C hub, uh, right there, going into the bottom of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. But you can also use this wirelessly, DeX wirelessly, with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 as well. But for today, we're going to be using it with the external monitor, a Bluetooth keyboard. I have a mouse here, and I'm going to show you how you can get things done. So let me reposition the camera and let you guys see it. All right, guys, so the first thing you need to do to get Samsung DeX working on an external monitor, you need to go to your drop-down menu on your, Sam on your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. So you just swipe down, and right here you're going to see DeX. So I just turned DeX off, so now we're looking at just a mirrored screen. So to get into the DeX functionality, I'll hit DeX. As you guys see, Samsung DeX is coming up, and that is it. So I'm going to put my Z Fold 2 over here to the side, and my mouse is hooked up, and we're ready to go. So uh, let's go ahead and get some stuff done here. So uh, this is a desktop type environment, as you guys see. I can go over here. I can have my drop-down menu here where I can turn on sound. Turn off Bluetooth, mobile data, uh, dark mode, everything over there. I can uh, see my notifications. Everything right there. I can uh, control the volume. Now the volume depends on how you have it set up. It can come through your uh, phone or you can come through your external speakers like I have hooked up. So right here. I can either use the keyboard on the phone or an external keyboard like I have. So when I hit that button, you see it brings up the keyboard on the phone. Well, I'm not going to be using that because I have a uh, Bluetooth keyboard set up. So over here, that's the home button. And then this is all of the apps that I have running right now. So I can jump into, uh, say, Twitter. So I can jump in here, let me go home, and I can stroll through, but it, you see how Twitter looks, uh, it's kind of big and wide, that's why I would use the web version. Uh, so this is all of your apps that you have on your uh, phone. So this gives you a desktop type environment, and uh, you can get some work done. So this is your home screen. You can right click on it, you can uh, change the wallpaper. I wanted to go in and change this wallpaper to something like this. Then I can go ahead and set that. So that is the wallpaper. All of these apps over here, I can move them wherever I want. I can go in here and I can bring an app over. Whatever I want to bring, I can bring it over there. So let's go ahead and bring something over there. So let's do uh, let's do the score. Let's bring that over. So I'm going to hold it and I can drag it to my home screen just like that. So you can put whatever apps you want here and it's virtually just like a desktop environment. And at the same time, I can still be using my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 as a second screen here. If I want it to be on this and looking at something, doing something on this display, then I can still do that. So uh, the question was asked the other day by someone about using Office apps with this. Now, I'm not a professional person. I don't own a business or anything like that. Uh, but you are able to use uh, apps such as Word. And uh, let's go ahead and look that up. So this is uh, the keyboard typing with it. So if I wanted to create a Word document, uh, here it is. 
and I'm not signed in, so it's probably not going to let me open it up. Oh, here it is. All right, so this is what a Word document would look like. You still got all your uh, functionality up here, and like I said, I'm not, uh, I don't use Word, so, uh, but you got your whole layout. You can go through all of your stuff that you need here. You can zoom in. You can put headers, uh, your layout, all of that stuff. You can draw uh, files, all of this stuff, and that is Word on there. So if you wanted uh, to use Excel, so I'm going to go back over here. And if you wanted to do your uh, spreadsheets, then you can do that if you need to do that. And like I said, this all can be done wirelessly if you need to uh, do this. Say if you're in a hotel room or whatever, and you're on the road or whatever, then you know you got this this capability. As you see, I'm not I'm not a person that needs to use this, but it's perfectly fine to do it. And you can even do this without an external monitor. You can get you a small little keyboard and a mouse, and you can use your uh, uh, you can use your phone as a display, but uh, this is a great way to do it. And you're gonna, and when you're using it wirelessly, you're gonna get uh, very little uh, latency as well. So uh, let's take a look at something like uh, YouTube and see how this was look. Now I can open up different apps here. I can uh, snap this to one side like so. I can go over here and open up another app over here. So if I want a Chrome open, I can open up Chrome. So now, this is the best way I like to look at social media, is through the web browser. Uh, it gives me a better look, in my opinion. So I can go back over here to the YouTube app, and I can have that plan as well. So let's go to my uh, channel here, and let's play this video here. So I can control my volume over here. Now, right now, that's coming through my phone. Now, I can uh, adjust the size of this as well. If I want it that big, and if I want it this small over here, I can do that. Uh, and I can add another app in here if I want. So, as you guys see, I can snap that full screen like that. Uh, let me go ahead and open up the Play Store. So, I can put the Play Store over here. Uh, let's see what else I wanted to do. Files. I can do files. As you guys see, you can load this up, buddy, and the 12 gigabytes of RAM and the 865 processor is working like a charm. So video can be still playing. And you see, I'm steady doing stuff here. Click back over here. So let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, Twitter over here. ahead and lower the volume on this down here at the bottom but as you see functions well man works great and here's Twitter right there I can move this down and I can go back to Facebook over here so I'm looking for files over here so I got a lot of things going on right now and there's no stutter there's no break in it uh, at all. Okay, guys, so those are a lot of things that you can do in the DEX mode. Now, remember, you still can use your device uh, for making phone calls, uh, and text messaging, and things of that nature as well. So what about things like playing games? So I don't have a Bluetooth controller, but you can play some games with your keyboard and mouse. Let's try Alto's Adventure. I know this game uh, works pretty good with just using the the mouse so it's not going to be a you know a really uh, graphic intense game here uh, but if I had a mouse uh, if I had a, a Bluetooth controller then I could definitely play some more games and stuff on here with ease but as you see no issues just using the mouse to play and the graphics look great until you run over something right there so let's get out of this game and try something else so gaming can be done 
And like I said, if you have a wireless, uh, a Bluetooth controller, then you definitely probably could uh, play some more. So this is flip, flip, flip diving. Now this is one of those that, let me see if I can go ahead, get this to open up full stream, but it's probably gonna be, say this size, because it's uh, mainly designed for your phone. So this is the biggest you're gonna get this to look. So using just my mouse, uh, you can play play this game with ease. So no issues there. Uh, let me try something else. Let me try, let's try Alien Shooter. Uh, some of these games require you to have hands on because of the tilt feature and all that stuff uh, where you need to use the gyroscope. So yeah, I can control the uh, little ship here with the mouse, so that is great. And it, it looked like it'd be a lot of fun playing it on this as well. Uh, that's the, the biggest you're going to get the uh, gameplay to look on here. Like I said, some of them are not optimized for this, so... But this looks like it'll be a lot of fun to play just using your mouse, and you can... Uh, you know, you can take care of your business here without, if you don't get killed. <laughs> Alright, so gameplay is possible using it with Dex. Let's go ahead and try out something like, uh, if we wanted to read some books, see what that looked like on here. So let's go to um, my Amazon books. So let's go to Playbooks, and uh, Playbooks will open up. Uh, let's see if we can get that full stream. Yes, it will. So I'm going to go to my library, and let's just open up something here. Uh, let's open this book up here. So this is what the books look like uh, when you open them up. And here's Turner Page. That's pretty slick, as you guys see. Actually looks like a page turner, so uh, that's what you get in Dex using playbooks and uh so yeah guys that is a pretty much a look at decks trying to see what else i could use on here to demonstrate to you guys so let's go into uh let's go into samsung internet here and uh see what we got let's go to oh i got a package coming i don't need you guys to see that <laughs> so uh let's go to uh let's go to best buy on here that's Best Buy, right there. So this is the Best Buy website on here, and as you guys see, looks great. I have this in the dark mode. Uh, let's see if I wanted to buy another Tab S7 Plus. So here it is. So as you guys see, works great with Samsung DeX. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, you can get a lot of work done. You can browse, you can play games, you can do social media, and all of the nine works on it. So Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 in the Dex mode is a go. Catch you guys in the next video. We are H-Tech Review. I'm out.